Welcome, everybody, to Inside the Huddle on the Muskie Sports Network. I'm Tom Caudill, and joining me today is Muskingum head football coach Eric Yider. Coach, welcome to Inside the Huddle. Thanks for having me, Tom. Coach, you know this is a challenging time now. You should be out on the field with your guys going through the spring drills, getting ready for the fall, fine-tuning everything, um, but it's different now. What are you and your staff doing to stay connected with your team? Yeah, we've been using Zoom and FaceTime uh, quite a bit to stay in touch with guys. Uh, we've had some position meetings uh, with guys to kind of go over some X's and O's that we would be doing normally if we were in, in spring ball a little bit. But more than that, really just reaching out to our guys constantly, making sure we're we're staying in touch with them and making sure they're doing okay uh, during this time. But um, had, had a couple of leadership meetings that have been really uh, fun and productive, but um, I think it's been going well. You know, we talked about the current team and, you know, some things changing with that, trying to stay in touch. Also a big time for recruiting. At a time when you would normally have a lot of guys come to campus to visit, people looking to secure those commitments. What are you guys doing to connect with your recruiting class? Yeah, our staff has been working extremely hard on our, on our 2020 uh, recruiting class, which I really feel is going to be very special. And uh, so we're, we're still finishing that class up. Uh, there's a few uh, big time players out there that, um, you know, hoping to uh, hop on board here in the next uh, couple of weeks. But um, we've been reaching out to guys, you know, using the technology as well, again, and, and doing virtual tours and FaceTime and so forth. But um, more than that, we've been trying to go the extra mile with our recruits and their families and, and making sure they have all their questions answered, make sure they uh, feel comfortable with everything because uh, Miss Kingdom is a special place. And uh, it's because of the people and all the things that we have going. And we want them to feel as comfortable as possible um, before they, uh, you know, come on board. Miss yes, Coach, if I, was a, if I was a recruit looking and I'm looking to play football at the next level, what do I need to do to contact you or your staff? Yeah, well, um, they, they can contact us. Uh, we're all on Twitter. They can direct message us. Uh, they can send their film. They can send their transcripts or contact information. Uh, so really, that's probably the quickest, easiest way. OK, you, know, you talked about Muskingum being a special place. One thing that's really going to elevate that even to a higher level is the health and wellness complex. You know, 30 million dollar complex being built in the center of campus. Uh, can you talk about how that will impact not just uh, the football program, but also Muskingum? Yeah, it's ex extremely exciting. Uh, and it's going to be a game changer for, as you said, not only our football program, but our entire university. Uh, from a football standpoint, we already feel that we have really good facilities. We've got a, uh, you know, really nice uh, locker room. We've got a, you know, spacious weight room. Um, we've got two turf fields already and a beautiful campus. So we, we've got some really good things. And now you're going to add a uh, brand new stadium and um, indoor facility to, to what we already have right on, on the center part of campus. And you're right. It's going to impact uh, so many students in, in such a positive way. It you know really shows the the type of support that uh, President Hassler, our athletic director Steve Brocklebank, and, and our donors um, have you know to spearhead this project. And you know the really awesome thing is, is our current recruits will get a chance to uh, play in the new stadium and uh, use the new facility. Well, that's an awesome facility. It's going to be something that's going to be built here in the near future. It's going to be a game changer for Muskingum and elevate us pretty high up there in the list of all facilities in Division Three. Definitely. You know, one thing that's happened here uh, since the end of the season and going towards the spring now, got a few new faces on the staff and some new title changes. Can you talk about those? Yeah, I, I love our coaching staff. We have top-notch coaching staff, really good people, and uh, we have made some uh, changes. So a couple guys have been with us the last few years uh, since we took over the program two years ago. Uh, Coach Tyler Walker had, had done an outstanding job in recruiting and, and special teams. He has transitioned to our defensive coordinator position. And so I'm really excited for uh, to see him in this new new position. Uh, also, uh, Michael Pannone, our uh, defensive line coach, has uh, added the title of co-special teams coordinator. Um, we have uh, added a uh, new coach in Michael Donnelly uh, this winter, and he is our uh, defensive back coach and uh, coach special teams coordinator and worked with uh, Coach Donnelly in the past and uh, know, know the type of passion and energy that he's going to bring to our program. Uh, in addition, uh, Austin Pritchard, who's been on our staff the last two years, will be joining uh, or 
excuse me, he'll be uh, moving the wide receivers. Uh, and then uh, lastly, uh, Coach Ed Rainey is our new offensive line coach, uh, just uh, recently joined the staff and uh, comes from Division One Valparaiso and also played uh, at Wayne State uh, University and coached at Wayne State. So uh, really excited about the guys that we have joining and then also uh, with some guys in some new spots. You know, Coach, we've talked about your current team. we talked about recruits, facilities. You know, one thing that certainly has taken a big tick up since your arrival on campus has been the academic success of the team. Uh, the student-athlete part of it, being the student at the campus here, what have you and your staff done to put in place that's gotten the team GPA higher, has gotten the guys into the classroom being successful? Well, I mean, first, our academic coordinator, uh, Coach Michael Pannone, has, has done an outstanding job. He's really diligent. He stays on top of our guys. And he, he has done a top-notch job. Really, him and, and the rest of our staff um, are really passionate about helping our guys um, make sure they're getting their degrees. And as I tell all our recruits, we're, we're going to push you both on and off the field. Um, and, and we feel like we've done a pretty good job of that. Our, our dean of uh, student educational services, Dr. Shelley Soleil, as well as the other academic coordinators and professors on campus, have really been instrumental in, in um our uptick in our, in our academics, our academic success. Uh, so um, got really good feedback from professors in terms of um, our class attendance and just doing doing the right things, sitting in, in, in the front row, taking notes, not having your headphones. And so we've gotten really good feedback um, on that. We, you know, in our time here, we've we've doubled the amount of 3.0 grade point, grade point average guys uh, that we have on our team and have our cumulative grade point average has greatly improved. Uh, we're not where we want to be yet, um, but we're certainly headed in the right direction. We're excited about that. Well, Coach, I can tell you, I've been fortunate enough to have a, a bunch of the football players in my classes that I teach, and it's always a pleasure to have them in there, sitting in the front row, being very attentive, um, and coming in there with a thirst of knowledge and wanting to learn and, and represent the football program and Muskingum in a very studious way. Uh, Coach, I want to thank you for taking the time. Um, I was crazy time that we're in right now yeah. to join us here on the Muskie Sports Network and talk a little bit about some Muskie football. And I look forward to reconnecting again as we start to get closer to um, to the fall and, and see yeah. what's going to happen with Muskie football. All right, great. Thanks, Tom. Thanks a lot for having me. Go Muskies. Hey, stay strong, stay healthy, and go Muskies. All right. See ya. Okay.